quarter till nine, your statewide news network covers the northwest corner of Indiana, Lake County, where Whiting is getting ready to hold its annual pierogi fest. Nobody knows about it more than Tom Daberton. Daberton. He is the chair and co-founder of the festival and kind enough to join us on the line. Tom, good morning. Is Whiting ready for what has become an annual event that draws people from many, many states? Uh, absolutely. It draws about 350,000 people in two and a half days to a community of 12,000 people. Uh, Whiting is a city of about 5,000, and then the Robertsdale section of Hammond is another 7,000 people. So our population swells. We draw people from not only all 50 states, but, but actually from uh, uh, across the uh, pond, if you will. Uh, we, we draw people from Europe. Well, and that actually probably begs the question, it, and if you've ever been through the region, you've had a pierogi, but we do have friends and neighbors down the line who may not have, so go through what's a pierogi, sort of what are the so cultural pierogi, origins of it, too? Sure. Pierogi basically is a dumpling, a stuffed dumpling. Um, you, you find it in many uh, ethnic uh, recipes uh, from uh, European cultures, uh, Slovakia, Czech Republic, uh, Hungary, obviously Poland. Uh, in other countries, um, uh, in fact, in Asia, uh, in the you know, for example, in Japan, it's called a gosha. So it's it's a it's a staple that's found in many different cultures. But pierogi fest is really a celebration of uh, ethnic heritage. Uh, Northwest Indiana was founded uh, in many respects by uh, immigrants from Europe, and so it's a celebration of ethnic heritage. But it's done um, kind of tongue in cheek. <laughs> Uh, we have a lot of fun with it. Uh, this is a wacky festival. TripAdvisor says it's the wackiest festival on planet Earth. Uh, we have won numerous awards as best festival in America, including Reader's Digest, Wall Street Journal, Savar Magazine, and just a host of others. In fact, a few years ago, we were named as the runner-up as best festival in the Indianapolis area, even though we're 165 miles away. <laughs> hey, listen, bragging rights are bragging rights. Uh, talk, right. you know, this is about food, yes, but it's about the culture that you talk about as well. When you go through pierogi fat, I mean, you see what appear to be babushkas, like all in, playing it dead straight. What, what else is out there? Oh, absolutely. We have we have the bushes. We have Mr. Halupki, Mr. Pierogi, Ms. Punchki. So we have uh, people walking around in costume. We have the Mr. Progi Song Fest, which is obviously uh, a satirical uh, uh, look at uh, popular music. Uh, we also, though, have you know 75 food vendors with 1,400 items on the menu. We have seven performance stages. Uh, big uh, our big concert uh, Saturday night is a free concert by Smash Mouth, uh, and I'm sure many viewers know who they are. Uh, they did the uh, soundtracks, for example, for the Shrek movies. A very popular band, so they're on our main stage Saturday night. It's a free concert. But there is just about every musical genre you can find out here, from polka to rock to folk. You name it, we have it. So if you don't like the music that you're hearing at one stage, just walk around a block, you'll hear you'll hear a totally different type of uh, presentation. Yeah, hey, now you're an all-star. That's the other big smash mouth one. Let's go ahead and put up on the screen the dates and times. Again, Friday, Saturday, 11 to 11. Is that right, full day? That's correct. 11 to 11 on sa uh, Friday and Saturday, 11 to 5 on Sunday. The rumor goes that the chairman uh, gets cranky and wants to go home. But the reality is, <laughs> is that we have to we actually have to return the street to regular commerce and business by Monday morning. So this festival is run by 650 volunteers and I'm privileged to be the chairman and co-founder. Um, but we actually only have 24 hours to set up the festival and we have only 12 hours to take it down being one of the largest festivals in the state. All right, so um, most important question, especially if you're gonna claim title to the best Indianapolis uh, festival 165 miles away. Are we talking 11 to 11 Central or 11 to 11 Eastern? 11 to 11 Central, okay. we're on Central time, on Chicago time, and, and uh, you know, don't forget the parade. The parade is, is um, repeatedly been described, including by the Wall Street Journal, as probably the nuttiest parade on planet Earth. In fact, I wear a coconut bra and a grass skirt pushing a lawnmower. Don't ask me why, but I do. Tom Daberton, thanks for that visual. We appreciate it. And if we want to see it in person, it'll be at the uh, at the Polka Parade at Pierogi Fest. Hey, great good luck to you this weekend. It'll be fun.